Hello everyone, this is Chris, and welcome back to another Seed Showcase. Now today, I am finally going to be checking out the Seed, which I'm sure plenty of you wanted me to check out for a long time. I'm going to be checking out the 666 Seed. And you might be wondering why I haven't shown off the 666 Seed yet. Well, that's because, like, everyone knows what's inside the 666 Seed. Like, everyone and their mothers knows exactly what the 666 Seed is. Apart from me, because, yeah, because everyone knew about it, I never felt about checking it out, but I figured because it's Halloween pretty soon, and because, you know, October season, spooky season, I finally, finally check it out and see, see if the seed is actually warrant of all its, um, all its praise, so, yeah, wh whether or not I think that, I don't know yet, but let's check out the seed and see if it is. Alright, we have the 666 seed inside the seed generator, and let's created and who knows maybe the uh the devil himself will be on the other side maybe that's why everyone's so excited about this seed but yeah let's see what we see and okay we got a desert we got things like that like i want to give my very first impressions too village is nice to have some cows some acacia not too bad for a start so like any seed video i'm gonna mark out spawn with a uh, with a pillar of some sort so we know exactly how close things are and yeah, let's let's take a look around. First off, I want to see what this village is all about because yeah, yeah, having a village that close to spawn, I always say this, but having easily accessible food right when you start off is something which is pretty pretty handy to have. And also, we got ourselves a rune portal too, which is also another pretty handy thing to have because yeah, they could sometimes spawn in with um gold blocks. This one unfortunately doesn't, but you still get the uh, the chest you always spawn with with um potentially lots and lots of golden nuggets which is pretty handy but that can't be the only thing on this seed that can't be the only thing which get this seed so much praise there has to be something else in this seed for sure maybe maybe this iceberg coinciding with the desert because you know you have a really warm biome right next to a really cold biome something which shouldn't happen maybe it's this i don't know Maybe it's the second village pretty close to spawn, because, you know, we got that first one without a blacksmith, sadly. This one does, and I saw that in the background, too. Like, there's also a desert temple. Okay, I'm starting to see, like, some of the good things on this seed. This seed does definitely have a few things uh, warranted inside of it, and, yeah, I, I still want to check out the loot, even though, like, I still don't know if it's random or not. But, yeah, let's have a quick look and see, like, if... This C does have, like, warranted loot. Um. Um. Where are the chests at? <laughs> where are the chests at? Like, this place should have chests, but it doesn't. That is so strange. Maybe, maybe the devil beat me to it. I don't know. That temple definitely creeps me out just a little bit. So, um, let's, let's move on. To this pretty cool looking sand dune, I mean, you see mountains all the time made of dirt and other types of stuff. You don't really see these types of uh, sand mountains too often, so kind of cool. I like it. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I see that loading into the distance. Is that a savanna? Okay, okay, I'm starting to see the praise now. I'm starting to see why people like this seat so much because, like, we're not too far from spawn. I, I think I've been going pretty much in a circle, and yeah, we have this incredible savannah mountain right next to spawn leading up to the highest they could go at the moment up to pretty much yeah the as high as these mountains can generate and there is a lot of tall generation around the place i am starting to see the praise i am starting to see why people like this seed so much there is plenty of things inside this seed which is definitely warranted and okay th this goes on a lot lot further than i thought it does this is this is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. Well, this is mildly embarrassing because there's our little pillar we marked for uh, for spawn, and there's the Savannah Mountain. So we completely missed out seeing these mountains to start off with. Um, my, my bad, I guess. And spawn isn't the only thing next to these massive mountains because just over here, just on this side, I just saw this. We have this pretty decent sized ravine with an abandoned mine shaft linking right into it. So yeah, a pretty easy one to even get yourself into because maybe you could just hop yourself down into that water, get yourself into the mine shaft. So 
Yep, more more praise, more praise. I, I see more things why why people like this seed. I'll probably be saying that quite a bit throughout this video. Wait, 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 wait. And the and the stronghold is there? It's like this way. It's like basically right on top of spawn. Is it at that one village we passed? Maybe. It is. It is like right on top of one of the villages we pass, which is only about 100 blocks from spawn, so... Yeah, more more praise to be had, and let's let's find the uh, let's find the end portal. See what that looks like. So you know these little chest areas you find with some loot, maybe like some ender pools and stuff with these types of a uh, generation. I found one without a chest. Th this part of the seed it creeps creeps me out a little bit if I'm honest. And here's the stronghold room. Uh, unfortunately, like many stronghold rooms, it is a completely empty portal but to have one so close to spawn I mean I think um the empty portal is well worth it because yeah like usually you'd have to find these at least a few hundred blocks away but to have one like about a hundred or so blocks I'd say it's warranted I'd say it's warranted so I decided to do a little bit of flying around this uh this desert and other places and I found another desert temple but this time I believe hopefully they actually have some chests and if we fly down okay they do so if you if you head over here you'll find things like gunpowder like bones like um uh, saddles and like an in enchanted book so yeah at least there is loot here even though it's not the best of loot there there's at least loot and there's also the longest village i think i've ever seen inside of a seed because usually we see like villages clumped up together in one little area this one just stretches across like just one singular street all the way down this way and unfortunately it is an abandoned village which means you do you don't get um any of the villagers but still having a village just this long this length even reaching inside of some of the ocean strange and weird and cool and I love it and yeah and in terms of most of the uh, noteworthy things on the sea, that's pretty much all I could find. I'm pretty sure there's more things on the sea, which I sadly wasn't able to find because, you know, loads more people know the seed better than I do. But in terms of a general overlook, I think the seed is definitely one of the, uh, the upper tier in terms of seeds to check out. There's quite a few things not too far from spawn. There's quite a lot of noteworthy things to find, and there's... Quite a lot of strange and unique types of things on this seed. So, yeah, I definitely want to find more seeds like this. I definitely want to see if there are any more seeds with just clumps of really good stuff near spawn. And, yeah, in case you ever do find one, let me know down below in the comments. But for now, that's pretty much all I have for you. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all later.